Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. Here I have Snowmiku 2017 Twinkle Snow version. Now, as you guys know, um, Snowmikus are typically uh, exclusive to good small companies online shop and when they sell them at different conventions and events. So with this Snowmiku, I got back in July, I believe. Yeah, I pre-ordered it back during the February Winter One Fest 2017. That's typically when um, the Snowmikus go up for pre-order. And I got it back in July. So it's been quite some months since I've had it here. I've just been taking my time to unbox it. But now I finally have it here. So guys, as you can see, the box for this Snowmiku is actually pretty plain. Which is surprising because... Um, with a lot of Snowmikus, they really go all out with the boxes. But as you can see, this one is just plain white on top with just the title, the Snowmiku Snow Twinkle Snow version. Um, and just their usual Good Smile logo right here in Japanese. Uh, flipping it on top, you can see again, pretty plain Snowmiku logo up there just in blue on a white background. On the bottom here though, you get a slight peek of what the Nendoroid actually looks like with a little design. But still pretty plain. And over here, you get a slight description of this one. So you can see a little up-close version of her, how cute she looks. And on this side, more pictures of her. And finally, the bag. So yeah, you can see quite many poses you can do with this one. And I can't wait to get the box open. But first, turning it back around to the front. Like I said, it's pretty plain. Um, and it does have a front flip-up flap. So typically under these, usually it'll be a window to the Nendoroid. However, with this one, you can see I kind of already removed the tape to make it easier. Ha! Ah, we don't have that. We have this little pop-up of snowflakes, which is really pretty. I really love this background here. But it's actually no view of the actual Nendoroid itself. But still, I love these cute little pop-up um, snowflakes. So I guess you can kind of use this as a backdrop for the Nendoroid if you guys would like. But yeah, other than that, a pretty plain box. So yeah, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so this is open. You just see some equal on a flap. Oh, the instructions is actually, well, I don't know. And... Here we have her guys, here is Snowmiku 2017. So let me get her out of the package and we'll get into some poses. Okay guys, and here is our very first look at Snowmiku without all her plastic on. Sorry guys if she seems she's tilting a little bit. Uh, she doesn't quite want to stay on her base, on the arm of the base. So yeah, she's quite kind of tilting a little bit, but it's okay. But as you can see, she looks pretty cute. I do love her ponytails on her hair. You can kind of see if I turn it aside how they have um, some printing of snowflakes on them, which is pretty cute. They're in white, so it's a little hard to see kind of when you turn because the blue is just kind of overpowering on that. Part of my favorite part of this outfit is these little hair bows up here. Uh, let me see if I can tilt her without dropping her. You can see they kind of have like um, musical notes on top besides the little star and that's kind of to go with like celestial music and all of that so really cool design you can see rabbit yukine down here on his own little base standard as he is in most of the snow mikus he even has a little star up by his ear so that's pretty cute as well so here's the rest of miku in her outfit like i said it's pretty cute however i admit i'm still not um quite a fan of this outfit i loved it before on uh, the first initial design even though it wasn't the outfit I had voted on when they had like fans vote for which outfit they wanted But with this outfit an original design um, Most of this was kind of translucent. So I don't know, quite know why good smile company took that out um, You can see uh, if I turn it around to the back You can see here that it's slightly translucent on this little overskirt piece but like i said in the original design most of it like the sleeves and all the way around had like stars printed on it, it was really pretty design i don't know kind of why they toned it down a bit so i'm a little disappointed with that because the original design was just so much prettier i really wish i saw that on the nendoroid but it's okay for how they turned out. I do like this little piece right here. Um, here she is on her base. You see her little shoes as well. Kind of how like little ribbons around her leg. This little blue piece. Um, I guess it's a base piece. It's to 
this shows her on the box as her standing on it, I guess, to show her standing on snowflakes. However, it doesn't really attach to anything. You just kind of slide it on the base and set the dendroid on top of it. So it feels pretty useless to me, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys in case you're wondering what this extra little piece is for. So I'll set that to the side. But yeah, here she is, guys. Like I said, pretty cute. I do love this little barrette in her hair as well. So, yep, here is Snowmiku 2017. Okay, guys, next pose up. And as we can see, Snowmiku seems to be conducting a little celestial orchestra at the moment as you can see with the musical notes and everything swirling around her as well as the constellations it's a pretty cute pose guys though as you can see it's nowhere near as cute as it is on the box i have to admit this pose was slightly tricky for me to complete hence why her hair is kind of sticking all over the place but i was kind of nervous to kind of fix it there it is but as you can see she's wearing her second face plate which is of her winking eye you can see and it has little stars around it, which I think is really cute. I love that. As well as you can see, she has a little baton in her hand for her to conduct the music. So really cute. Um, this was slightly tricky here, this part with the baton, as you can see, because the baton is very tiny. Um, and the baton and this little hand come separately. So you just kind of have to fit it in there. And anyone who has big fingers, it might give them a little bit of an issue. Just because, like I said, it's a very tiny piece. I'm actually afraid that if it's not on a hand, I will actually lose it because it's so small. But pretty cute. Um, besides that, here's the next tricky issue with this pose. It is this, as you can see, with these little plastic pieces that shows the musical notes, the music, and the constellations. You can see that it fits on this bar that attaches to her, the arm of the base. And they kind of, they don't kind of attached they both kind of just slide down the ends of the pieces um, in the little slots on the stars so it's kind of tricky to kind of get those to stay in place and not fall down um, I've seen Good Smile Company do these little strips before I don't think I've had them on any of the Nendoroids I've had before but I do remember that Good Smile Company have done it with other Nendoroids like um, Iona from Arpeggio Blue Steel I remember seeing it with that Nendoroid and others like that so yeah, here it is. Okay, guys, next pose up, and you can see it's 4 o'clock and time for tea, unless it is for Snow Miku. As you can see, she's kind of sitting down on, on her little cloud, and she still has her winking face, but she has her table set for a cup of tea. Too bad she doesn't have a place setting for two, since Yukina is there as well, but still, maybe he just doesn't drink it. But I'll try to pick this up and not drop it. Let's see. Here is the little tiny teacup. As you can see. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> you can see it has a tiny little silver snowflake on a cup. So it's really cute. You can see like the, the milkiness of the tea. Well, I keep wanting to call it coffee. Up in the cup. As well as here's her cute little table that has little constellations on the little tablecloth. So really cute, guys. I love this. Again, here's Yukine also sitting on a cloud. And I thought this is really cute as well because for both of them, you can see with the little cloud seats that it has a little indentation to fit their butts in it. So, yeah. Kind of see even a little slot so it fits his little tail in the back. So, there that is. And here is Miku on her own cloud. You can see I still have her on the base with the arm of the base in her back however she too has a little indentation on her little cloud seat kind of don't want to lift it up because it'll kind of mess up the pose but you can see it there under her feet okay guys final pose and it's my absolute favorite look how adorable miku looks in this pose i gotta say guys this is so cute i saved it for last because i knew on when i first saw it on the box that this is the one that's going on my shelf she just looks so cute and so adorable now first when i saw this pose as you can see she's wearing her third face plate which is i thought was a crying face however a good small company considers it her sleepy face which makes it even cuter because yeah she she looks like she's totally ready for bed as you can see she's holding this little yellow star with a little snowflake on it and even though it seems like a regular star when you hold it this way you can see just how squishy it is so I'm guessing this is her pillow and it's definitely very soft very squishy really love it the only issue I have with it is that because it's such a squishy little pillow and these are just her regular balled up hands there's no really real way to kind of grip the pillow in her hands you have it kind of just placed in there 
so it made it a bit tricky setting up the poles completely for you guys to see this but it was definitely worth it definitely cute as you can see here her little sleepy face with her mouth looks like she's yawning you can see she has like these, I don't know if they're teardrops or what these are, the corners of the eyes. This is why I thought it was a cry face, but yeah, so cute guys, so cute. Other than that, nothing else has really changed. Both her and Yukine are both sitting on their little cloud chairs, again, which I love. Um, but like I said, just the face change. But like I said, this is definitely my favorite pose. Now, if only I can find a proper way to keep this little pillow in her hands, it'll be even better. So yeah, guys. That's it. Overall, final score, uh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to rate this one. Like I said, I was a little bit iffy on the Nendoroid itself just because I wish they did so much more with her outfit and so much more with accessories for her. Um, but the table she does come with and the pillow, you know, are definitely really cute and I do love those as well. There were certain little issues, like I said, um, where they're sometimes kind of slipping off of her off of the base for me um certain parts of her hair is pretty stiff for me especially like uh, this front bang piece so every time i had to change her face plate it just took so long um it was such little quirks setting up the little um the plastic strips for the little musical symphony that i totally forgot to show you guys this little musical stand that came with it that's supposed to go with this pose so yeah other than those little quirks though this nendoroid is okay like i said i do it's enough of the cuteness to make up for the things I dislike about it. So, yeah, it'll definitely still go on my shelf. But as for a score, uh, I'm going to give it, like, maybe a 6. Yeah, a 6. And that's just due to my bias, guys. So you might like it a lot more. Um, I still love it. But, like I said, uh, compared to my other Nendoroids I love, uh, it's going to be a score of 6. Maybe 6.5 for me. So, there she is, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you love her? Do you hate her? Are you waiting for the next Nomiko instead? Or whatever. So guys, let me know. Thanks for watching.